All right, so let's talk about how to accrue interest receivable. So the word accrue just means that we need to make an adjusting entry to account for something that has happened, but cash hasn't changed hands. So in interest receivable, what's happened is some time has gone by and we've earned some interest, but we haven't received it. So that's the journal entry that we'll be looking for. So to calculate the interest, we're going to say the face value times the interest rate times time. So let's look and see how this will work. We have three different note receivables that we're going to be accruing interest for. We'll add the three together and get our final number. So on November the 1st, we have $60,000. So we're going to start off with our face value, $60,000, times our interest rate. They tell us 7%, times time. This is the only tricky part. So this first one is an annual amount because it's a 12 months. So we can look and we can see if we started it at the beginning of November, we'll include all of November and all of December. So it'll be two out of 12 months. I come over here and do two divided by 12 and that'll be the percent that I'll take it by. So then I'll say 60,000 times 7% times this number, which is the same thing as two twelfths, and I get $700. Let's look at December 11th. I start off with $3,600 and my interest rate is 8%. Now we're to that time. This time it's in days. So how many days have passed by? Well, we started at December 11, and we go to December 31st. So if I subtract 31 minus 11, I find out that it's been 20 days. So the typical year that we use in accounting because it's easier to calculate, and so it's just what's um, used in accounting and in banking, is 360 days. So you'll say 20 days out of 360, and when you multiply that times that times that, then you get $16. So it's the same principle for December the 16th. You've got um, $12,000 times your 9%. And for this one, it's from December 16th through the 31st, which is just 15 days. So you'll say 15 divided by 360, and you'll get 45. So if you add up 700 plus 16 plus 45, you'll get to their number, which was $761 to accrue. So that would just be a debit to um, interest receivable and a credit to interest revenue because you've earned it, so it's time to account for the revenue on that. So let me know if you have any other questions about that. Thanks.